Are you ready again? Yeah, let's do it. Trustworthy chat strikes let's again. Let's see how this goes. And go. Hey. Hey. Alright, looks a little bit better. <laughs> it does, a little bit. Play doesn't seem any worse on my end. I also changed something in the config file that would lower latency and make the video worse, so. Like between our last run and now, or? No. In general? Oh, okay. Just in general, so I can change that back if I need to. So, just a quick question. How do you co-op and I play Rudy in that? How do you, how do you do this? Magnets. <laughs> Magnets are, are pretty using, powerful. They're using a software called Parsec. Yep. <laughs> so there's there's a host computer which they're hiring out, I think, that's acting as the server, and they're connecting to it as clients, like virtual controllers. Yep. Okay, so they show it's one control. Control. one control one one shows up with a controller and one shows up with a with a keyboard, keyboard mouse. mouse. Okay. Yep. I don't know why, but my delay actually feels better. Wait, better than before? Yeah. It's weird. Hmm. Maybe it's you magic. just need time to settle in. No, maybe. I hope whatever happened last time doesn't happen again. Yeah, that'd be kind of garbage. I'd like to get at least one, one run taken again. care of. Kind of like <laughs> something, something accessed the desk, the desktop behind us. And then all of a sudden my keyboard didn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, I saw the little drop down window thing for like a second. That's why I thought that's why I thought Moon had logged in and done something. <laughs> What's you getting hacked? Shit, Anonymous is onto us. They got their ringless gloves on. Trying to stop the perfect had, run. Uh, had the whole virgin taken away from that would be That would be some good shit. The game, the game is already plenty rich, but uh, I just can't help but dream about, you know, like, hey, choose your secondary weapon with every android. Yeah. I just choose shiitake. No. Nobody <laughs> chooses shiitake. What are you doing, man? Are you TV calling knows. me a nobody? I'm calling nobody you a nobody. Nobody knows shiitake. You oh, nerd. shit. <laughs> shit. Shots fired. He's got me. Back into the corner. I'm hitting like one quarter of his missiles there. Hey, you know what, man? We can't control him. <laughs> it's literally impossible. Oh, yeah, no, that's impossible. <laughs> Just gotta let him fly into their lives. Let him fly. How are we doing on Swift? We're doing good. They're running. <laughs> <laughs> that's very informative. It's it's not what they I wanted exist. to hear, but okay. Uh, zone one's kind of a crapshoot with times. That's true. We don't really improve very much on it. Oh, do you do a bond and only split on the entire zone? No, I do every level, but oh. we're usually behind for most of zone one. And then we make it up in the other zones. Because we have some really good zone one level times. That's the story of my life. But we're not doing great. Let hey, me tell you that. It's all right. We'll we'll bring it back on Collider. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'm gonna tacitly say nothing. We've only failed it once. Did we fail? That it? was a while ago. Yeah, we failed what, it once. Like, oh, you're right. Out. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Jeez. Dang it! I had almost blocked that from my memory. Sam, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Nice meet. Thank you. What? Nothing? You just had your main improved. 
Yeah. Uh, I thought he said meat. <laughs> I heard meat. Nice meat. Nice meat. You can show him oh, okay. that later. Oh, I mean, shit. yeah, it is nice meat, meat but still, it's kind of weird. Where'd you get that picture? Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> we made it. That's what Moonspot was, was getting when he was hacking you earlier. He's getting your meat pictures. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, you shut off your webcam. Oh god, man, Jesus. Big twos of your beautifully tasting pork chop. Oh, it's really it's just a just picture concerning. of his fridge. <laughs> I like the every now and then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys should do the Raining Titans trick at the end of Capacitor, just because it's in the Should do what? The Raining Titans thing at the end of Capacitor. What kind of black what magic means. are you talking about? Where, where, you get, where you get all the Titans to spawn in one spot. I'll show you later. They just rain through the ceiling and you kill them one by one. Hmm. And you get like 10 of them in two spots. That does not no, sound like a very fast strat there. It is actually really fast, but it's mainly funny. You stay away, Bond. Don't make him turn. I'm trying not to. Make him turn. He does a lot. Okay. Let's go all, all blue, I guess. Oh, there's a red. You can have it. Shoot. Eat shit, Embryo. This really is the game of optimization. Hey, we're making up time, tenths of a second at a time. Baby steps. Let's see if I freak out and lose control. <laughs> it's very much like Zelda Link to the past runs. Oh, okay. In I didn't expect way. to get that. A little tiny optimizations. Yeah. I hear that Link to the Past runners mostly run the randomizer now. Because the base game is pretty much dead. No idea. It's not, it's, no, no, it's not that the game is dead, it's just that it's, um, it's so hard for you to figure out where to optimize that. It's, um, basically, beginners generally give up fairly quickly. No. So, the like, norm. there isn't a category killing run yet? I figure the normal any percent route for that would be pretty well covered, right? I would have thought, but I don't know anything about that. Well, I mean, Super Metroid's oh. super, super organized and or optimized, and that's not dead yet. Yeah. That's true. Well, it's not dead, but there's just like that set of people have been doing it forever. But there's no hope of ever beating it. Behemoth only started like a couple of years ago. So he only there. gave up his job and... <laughs> Lives Broke under a bridge. And... <laughs> Took a bunch of drugs. I'm leaving you for Metroid. <laughs> oh, it's dark. not you. It's Super Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> or at least we will have two new Metroids to run this year. Well. One this year and another one at later dates that we don't know. <laughs> spicy game. <sighs> spicy. <clears throat> so spicy. You, you, seriously, you take the bets. How, how long before Metroid Prime Four, once it's released, has a, has an insane below one hour speed run? How long before below one hour? Probably mm -hmm. at least a week. Yeah. It didn't take uh, Breath of the Wild long to be under 40 minutes. Yeah, but you can kind of do whatever you want in that game anyway. Yeah, true. Like, I don't know if anybody's done it, but Nintendo said you can basically just go after Ganon like right away. If yeah, you really yeah, want right, to. yeah, right away, right away you can uh, you can go for Ganon right after getting outside of outside of the crypt. No, I mean, it just depends on how easy you want to make fighting him on. Yourself. 
Oh jeez, oh. I took that mine for you. You better be grateful. You're a hero. <laughs> oh, you didn't take that one though. No, couldn't quite get to you. Oh jeez, am I getting caught on all the islands? Here? Feel free to Mr. President me whenever you want. <laughs> for the good of the game. The dogs. The dogs. Wow, when you're in two player, the waves are really brutal hard. They get pretty dense sometimes, yeah. Can't imagine what it would be looting like with four player accounts. It must be freaking nice. It's fun. Does the camera have like a little? Does the camera still have like little seizures whenever somebody moves? Because if Bond gets too far away from me, my camera freaks out and my con my mouse cursor just starts going crazy. Yeah, well, I did two player with a lot, but he always complained that I moved too far away and it moved his mouse. Yeah. I think I think the keyboard mouse player notices it the most. Yeah. I don't notice it. You're a god game. I think I think Kadu has just uh, gotten used to it by at this point. Because yeah. Kadu is also a god gamer. <laughs> He's a god gamer. Yes, that sucks. That's, that's good old Jim. <laughs> Whoever between the developers thought of this particular level needs to die. <laughs> I hate this level as well, as well. Nobody else seems to hate it as much as I do. TV scoffed like at me it. when I said I hate this level. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst. <laughs> I can think of a lot of worse ones. <laughs> it, like it, it, it's not the worst, but the bomb phase is just... Oh my god. It's he scoffed at me in French. It was like... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's sorry. Someone has to take the fall for that one. <laughs> Jeez. Cheese. Oh, cheese. He loves it. I'm stuck. Don't be, don't be stuck. Don't get stuck like a noob. Come on. Ah. Uh. Conveyor belt, I wanted that to be red. Oh, well, taking that one. Alright. Move from burn. Lame. Stop it. Reset. Do it. Oh, makes it shut down. Oh, shut down only makes one of us invincible. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, no firepower between either of us, huh? Uh, I know, with Holy, with Holy, I kind of have to abuse the living hell out of it. <laughs> Seriously, that's the first thing I discovered, like, oh, when I, oh, when I take the, when I take the blue power up, I have some few invisibility frames, okay. <laughs> yes, please, give me some more of that, please. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good, but uh, the blue, blue just kind of isn't that good in single player, I find. Unless you're already topped up on red and yellow. Because it's only good for a couple seconds, whereas red is good for 12 seconds. And, uh, you no, that's going to be interesting. We're, we'll do our best. Oh. We'll do our don't best. Don't get us dunked. Don't get oh, us dunked. Oh, me don't get us dunked. Oh, oh, ho, ha, ha. He's bullstrad. Oh, ho, ho, ha, ha. I don't think you can do it with either <laughs> of these characters. You actually can with both of them. Can you? I don't believe you. Yeah. Uh, Kato actually does it with Aubergine, the absolute madman. I don't believe you. Yes, he does. Go look at our run. No. I refuse. And, uh, Starch does it with micro-missiles, because the- just having clumped up wasps, it helps you get a ton more DPS out of them. I don't believe you. Feel free not to believe me. Oh, that was a bad idea. Why did I do that? Why did I use missiles? Why did I use missiles? Oh boy. Come on, sir. That was very close. That was very fine. <laughs> Come on, sir. Yeah. 
<laughs> Get him. Watching with stream like makes it sound like um I'm watching yeah. a movie with someone and they're spoiling oh, what's gonna sick. happen next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, he totally dies in the scene. Oh hey, you were right. Spoilers. I expected Spoilers. the freaking vines to go the opposite direction. That spoiler's the hardest part. Who goes down most? Bond or Sam? What? Who goes down most? Uh, <laughs> I probably do on the whole because of the input lag, but Whoa, might it be depends on the even. level. I think I'm better at some levels than Bond is, but he's a lot better, a lot more than I am. Uh, I don't know. It's probably fifty fifty. I suppose the little crown is which of the two has killed the most. Oh <laughs> wow, that was super nice. We did it. We fucking did it. <laughs> Oh, you did the, you did our uh, patented die to the same boss. Wow. Strat. That was so dumb. This one. I don't like that. That was part of the strat. <laughs> Hold on, I'm clipping this. That was great. We're just getting that out of the way, so we're not doing it at a worse place. No. I don't think we've ever done that before. Well, not to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Both mug down. That was a beautiful mug down. Like this. All I got for that uh. one, though. Tried to get I was it. out of the range. Tried to get it. I'm just taking a blue, whatever. This You're not invincible, don't freak out. I'm not freaking out, man. I'm very calm. You seemed like you were freaking out. We're like a married couple. Oh, oh God, we got oh, for Jesus. that one, though. I just fired all my missiles because I panicked. Yeah, who's freaking out now? <laughs> well, that was probably a bad idea. Uh, yep, I went in to get it and died because you got it. <laughs> okay. This turret is dead. See what guns it looks like on two Surprisingly okay. How do we gain seven seconds on that? Did we? Wow, we should do yeah. double down strats more often. So. Okay, I'm a little bit behind with the stream. Are you more than ten seconds on that? Uh, I'm only starting right. transit right now. That's, yeah, you're, you're pretty right. much on par. Okay. I guess we could have streamed a mixer. Eh. <laughs> Don doesn't like it for some reason, but it works fine for me. I'm okay with it. I just don't like that it's only Microsoft's baby. Why? Also, like Twitch better, anyways. So, whatever. Yeah, I don't really want to like... split up streaming yeah. things between two things. You like that delay? No, I like the viewers oh, I man. get. <laughs> the delay is honestly not that big. It is when Mixer has like oh, sub second delay. Well, Daily Motion streaming, aka Hitbox TV, had some uh, had some uh, really under one second delay too, but <laughs> oh. they brought it back. They brought the delay back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? People were missing it. <laughs> no yeah. nostalgia. <laughs> no, it's basically. It's basically nobody is really using Hitbox, so apparently they had to basically downsize their infrastructure, and that's why you know, the delay is back. Well, now they're Smash Cats, nice. so we'll see how it goes. At least Mixer has Microsoft behind them, so. Then what now? Smash Microsoft. Cross. Smash Cast. Oh. Smash Yeah, cast. but yeah. You know, Google Wave had Google behind it. <laughs> Good. Got you there. I don't know what Google Wave is. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna end well, is it? Just kill them, Bond. Just kill them. I'm trying. I mean, Aubergine can only do so much. Stop being crap, Aubergine. Just wait for the patch, man. I don't yes. think that patch is coming. Yeah, it's been like four ever months. Gonna, ever gonna ha happen? I wanna here? believe. It's been like four months since he mentioned it. I I'm not. Thinking it's gonna happen. I'm thinking Patching they're gonna lost. drop it like right before G2. 
Nothing what? Cactus. To make not shiitake stronger. Not shiitake like, stronger. Yeah. The patch does exist. <laughs> it's just, it just hasn't been released. Yeah, oh, but what is it, what balls. is it supposed to patch inside the game? It's a balance patch right there. Okay. Yeah, it makes some people stronger. And... Just it's only buff. That's it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, I think, right? I yeah, think they're only buffing it's... lemon, though, right? Oh god, please, oh, I want that. Stuff. They're, they're buffing everyone that's not shiitake or starch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm serious. That's that. That is actually. What is it that is. literally what it is? Nice. That is literally what it is. Excellent. I can get behind Starch that. Starch is the one that needs it the most too, though. Yeah. Which sure. is crazy. Yeah, but... definitely. <clears throat> so right. So they're doing just like, <coughs> just like, just like the Guilty Gear guys. No, we're not gonna nerf the character. We're gonna make the characters that are underpowered and more powerful. Yeah, pretty Maybe. much. <laughs> Sounds about right. I don't know anything about Guilty Gear. No fighting games. Oh. Uh, yeah, guilt, basically, their their methods in, in guilt. Oh my god. When, I don't know, when man. they got. <laughs> they got this is bad. When they got characters that are literally OP in the sense of basically, like, nobody can stand a chance against uh, X character. Rather than nerfing the character, they basically give new powers at the next version of the game. Oh. Give new power to all of the others. <laughs> basically. That's, that's what. Well, the, uh... that's, that's one way of. Going about it. I know the uh, Dead by Daylight devs. Whenever they make like a new monster character, they say they say that they make him as overpowered as they can and then nerf him later. Oh, so that's the opposite approach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like the first week or so, the character is gonna be crazy strong until they nerf it. At least that does make him kind of fun to play. Just not fun to play against. I haven't heard anything about that game until, like, since it launched, though. Did it kind of fall off? Uh, I think they're still making stuff for it, as far as I know. Dead by Daylight? <laughs> the, gu the guys are still going, and are still going strong, and actually, we basically, they basically wiped the floor with uh, Friday the 13th game. Yeah, that game looks real bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it got kickstarted like crazy, and basically Dead by Daylight has been out for like, two years now, and she's has it been that long? Yeah, and basic and basically Dead by Daylight is having just two years of advance and two years of, of experience, so basically the game is more rounded up. So Friday the Thirteenth just doesn't stand a chance. On top of that, basically Friday the Thirteenth is. Forty dollars for its current state, while Dead by Daylight. If you don't, if you don't buy all of the all, all of the characters DLC, and you have the base game, you can have the base game for twenty nine. So basically, you wipe the floor with them. I really thought Dead by Daylight didn't didn't evolve, but clearly I haven't been keeping up on it. Yeah, yeah, they have tons of DLCs. They have new they have new murders, new New murderers, new stages, new whole kinds of stuff. And those are tiny little DLCs that uh, basically they started to make fake DLCs once they fixed their matchmaking. Yeah, good shit. I mean, stuff. Have I been banned from DDQ? Yes. 100%. Shit. I mean, stuff. <laughs> oh. Revolution, please. Revolution sucks ass. Uh, oh, come on, please give me that. No, all right. It's it's fun to play, but okay. prob probably not fun to run. But it's fun. To play. It's probably a harder S plus than transit. Little pain in the ass, especially with Shitake. Game sucks. Game sucks. Game's broken, man. <clears throat> oh, I forgot that those circles keeps axe over Oh, that's weird. Oh, what? Oh, oh no. we skipped his laser phase. No apparently. second laser. Too fast. 
I didn't mean to. Oh wow, that is the most subtle beam skip I have ever seen. Yeah, that's why I didn't notice it at first. I was like, you barely that? moved at all. Yeah. Oh, oh, you didn't stop like, him! Wow, nice. You didn't stop him! I didn't stop him because I thought you were gonna get a shutdown. <laughs> Man, communicate. Communication's important in a relationship. <laughs> I thought you were gonna stop him so I could. Okay. I mean, what shutdown was gonna use? Jeez, Bond, you suck. Yeah, there wasn't one on the field yet. I know, that's why I was waiting. That's why I didn't do it. Well, maybe you'll get lucky and get all the medulla lasers this time. Because I'm sick of <laughs> I'm sick of taking them no, all. It's, it's, it's so still lucky. gonna be you. Uh, we are... You're a married couple. Are you We're guys planning on... Behind. Are you intentionally gonna do beam skip in the room? Because that's gonna be another kind of interesting one. I don't think we intentionally it's did not it hard there, to do. did we? We just Does really it serve any... And we're so surprised. Does this so. serve any purpose? You get the power-ups out quicker. So and what do you guess, do? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll explain. I'll explain the beams. Um, so justice usually opens with three lasers. The first laser is yeah. unskippable, but the next two are skippable if you make him do a slight turn. So if you just turn, you just literally just strafe around him and cause him to reposition, and that just causes him to skip to the next attack phase, which is releasing the. Huh. Defense first things, which allows you to get power ups out quicker. I've, I've probably done that. Often, often if you let all three lasers hit, then you will kill him. Like you'll have to restrict yourself in order to, you know, get the power ups before he dies. Oh, okay. So, yeah, pretty much every individual level speed run uses it. I did it out of habit, ah, I think, but I didn't know if it ever served any purpose. <laughs> Yeah, I think I do it. It is cool though. <laughs> I have to. I'll have to replay justice to see to see how how you do how you go about uh, how you go about generating the beam skin. Uh, you can, I can link you some videos for a reason. No, don't watch his videos, they give you cancer. They are boring. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any music and, uh, they give you audio or anything. Yeah. Uh, there's also a capture ball skip, which is where you kind of weapon swap into him to trigger his lightning field while he's shooting out capture balls, and then he'll forget that he had to do them, and then they'll never come out. Huh. Okay. GIL. Yeah, yeah. There's capture balls? <laughs> yeah. Every, every, pretty much every android but Aubergine. <laughs> it just can get past him before the capture balls come out. I'm stuck! <laughs> okay, don't go down. And maybe Holly. That's a lot of reds over there. Yeah. I was working on it. Oh no, man, reds of color, come on. Also, the Supreme Court ruled that you can use trademarks like the red skins and the slants yep and the, the slants. slants the slants really? is a weird one yeah that's, yeah that's a bit much i have to say yeah that one's weird <clears throat> yeah so you be as racist as you want bond <laughs> I will pass on that, actually. Go get it. Go get it. No, not That's you. Racism. I was talking to myself. Yeah, I know. I said go get it. I thought we were to the elevator, honestly. I'm not paying attention. Oh, the one nice. lost. <laughs> Unload on that bitch. Okay, I weapon swap, but that's cool. Elevator. Elevator. Did you die?
Ooh. Ouch. Oh, okay. Guess that happens. Yeah. <laughs> My battery's just gonna die back there alone. Yeah, it's fine. It knows what it did. Interesting. Indeed. Yes, quite. Oh, I'm dead. Interesting. Also, I'm dead. Oh, I'm doing really bad. This DPS is really, or DPI is really messing with me. I was about to say. Poor workman blames his tools. Playing stodge oh. and complaining about DPS. <laughs> We can blame you a little bit too. We are 35 seconds behind. Hey, I'm trying. Aubergine trying to be the anchor here is probably not the greatest. You want to switch? You want to switch, bro? I do not. No. Is that like switch? Is that like a slang for challenging someone to Mario Kart on the switch? <laughs> you want to switch? switch, bro? Because I'll wow. switch. You know I'll switch. Down to switch. I also have to be careful not to move my mouse too high up because then I grab the desktop behind the ah, window. <laughs> Next level strong. Good. And then my mouse stops working. Likely story. He needs to pull his mouse up to grab treat engine. Isn't there a way to make games run in borderless window? Um, I think it depends Cactus on the game. doesn't support bottleless window, does it? No, it does not. Not native. Game sucks. Game sucks. Oh, okay. Oh, get, get oh, burned. Okay. <laughs> what is oh, okay? Yeah, it's like okay, that really, because it, the tabs in and out of full screen really quickly anyway, so I don't really give a shit. Yeah, but if you run it in full screen, it freaks out the program. You so we gotta run it in window. No, it's a technical problem. There's nothing I can do about it. Have you tried getting good at technical problems? Don't do that! Dude, don't run into the group. What are you doing? I was surrounded by wasps and he just pulled them all towards himself and threw me. Well, you survived, didn't you? You're welcome. Because I'm amazing. Let go, please. Let go, let go, let go. Nope, okay. Are you playing with voice commands, Sam? Yes. Oh, the blue feedos. The motherfuckers. Banned from JDK. <laughs> it's a good thing they don't actually yeah. watch our practices. It's a good thing you don't have splits on. It's a good thing. He oh, would not be happy with the results. That's, that's not... When he does, doesn't know, can't hurt him. Yeah. We're doing great, Bond. That's all you need to know. You already told me we're doing shitty. <laughs> we're doing fantastic, doing Bond. Great. Now, it back. now I feel bad. I'm <laughs> getting mixed messages here. Okay, in 35 seconds from one level. Yeah, if we did it. We could do that, I think. Maybe. We're now that two minutes something. ahead of time. Fuck, we are doing great. That's... I'm genuinely scared now. Oh yeah, I love the helo stuck behind object strap. It's the best. It's my favorite I'm one. A fan. I'm a fan of that one. Oh, mines, why? <laughs> why? Okay, weapon swapped and it didn't work. That's cool. That's really dumb. Pain in your voice. I feel like it's genuine. Sam, that mine death was like penance for taking the exact correct number of tendril bullets and not dying earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh god, please. The calculated. Where is he? Oh, fuck off. Dumb. 
Oh, I thought you saw him. I was like, why isn't he killing him? No. This one lives. Okay. I got firepower for a little bit. You're gonna need it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look mine, out for those. Mine canisters. Oh, zap zap. Ow. Hero ass mine right there. Good work. Warned you. Gold you listen star. To me. Gold star for that guy. I know guy. what's best for you. To get out to get on today. Lasers will be yeah. coming my way soon, too. Oh, that's gonna oh, make fuck. me feel a lot better when Medulla goes after you. You know what? I'm it's gonna. think you guys are two minutes ahead. I'm gonna zero yeah. down Medulla just out of spite now. It makes me feel good when she goes after you. I won't lie about that. Hey, just because I'm more attractive, right? How are these guys still alive? Oh my Jesus. god, wow. Shit. Uh, who's alive? There he is. Oh, I'm shooting behind a wall. Wow, like, only annoying mobs left. Alright. We're, <laughs> we're 52 seconds behind. We got ahead. this. That's fine. Ahead, we're 52 seconds ahead. We got there this. There you go. Plus means good, right? Just a <laughs> fucking hell. Plus is positive. Plus is positive. Right. And uh, here, here we just need to the... never go down again, and we got this. It's fine. Here comes... uh, right after okay, this one. Starting. <laughs> starting now. Starting now. The one boss who basically thought he was in a build on patchy game. You're not invincible. I know. I'm just gonna keep reminding you. No just one's in case. invincible. <laughs> You're only mortal. We're all gonna die someday. <laughs> Why are you lowering? Why are you lowering your self-esteem? Realism, man. I don't want to do this one alone. Not, not good, so to, good to help live you. in a fantasy world. It's bullying. I'm gonna just take this. Take this. That was pretty quick, I think. Oh, Jesus! That was unexpected. Oh, God, that came out weird. Please die. Oh, my goodness. That was relatively fast. Don't take that. Oh, I wanted the fire power off. <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> you know, don't say swears. We're gonna get us banned. Banned from Discord, too. Where's that power up? Where's it at? There yeah, it's go. right there. Come on, man. Get with it. Hey, we did it. Did we Flawless Venom. Gain two minutes on that one. I haven't seen your in-game time yet. I haven't seen the we, damage. We gained 13.4 seconds. That's pretty gosh dang good. So. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Better than we normally do. And Venom. It's PB. Oh, what the fuck? And then you ruined it, and then you ruined it all. It's alright, we can bring it and back. And then I followed yeah. suit. <laughs> Way to go, idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh shit, the mines! <laughs> Why? The mines wanted you. Just we one are last. We're just, we're just here to distract you. Yeah. Well, we did it with Kenny and got a PB. So... That excuse doesn't work super great. Maybe he's less distracting. I mean, he does have the old Maybe. memes and How shit, did I not so. get that power? Wow, Jesus. It's the power. The secret to good speedrunning is old memes. The oldest. Good luck, good luck everybody. Memes. The most classic. The older, the faster. Well aged. Give me life. Vintage memes. Vintage. Oh. Nothing but the best. <laughs> Antique memes. Aged in a car, it's gonna sound rustic memes. Oh we no, should start a Mines, website please. called rusticmemes.com. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> already a thing. Oh, let's check. <laughs> It'll be like shoot the whoop and you know, all your base. 
All your base is timeless. <laughs> I will have you now. So, I don't think game. anybody from this generation remembers what that's from anymore. Rustic memes doesn't exist. It's not a website. I'll buy it Quick, if someone makes a website it. for it. I will admit, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think anyone from this generation <laughs> even played Zero Wing. Like, much less remember that shit. I'm feeling old right now. You are old. Feel old. Get young, kid. <laughs> Get young. <laughs> <laughs> How would you misspell uh, young though? Just like Y U N G. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can put that on rustic memes. Get young. <laughs> going on. Going that's on. a brand new meme. Stop that. Can't we be dot old? Makes it sound more official. Make a uh, dot biz. Dot go biz. <laughs> can you make a dot? Can you make a dot doge? Dot doge. No, oh. that's that's not quite. A, that's just a stale meme. The two other turrets are really not that worth it. Uh, so there's a trade-off here. The the bottom and the right turret are pretty good, but in order to access both of them, you need to spread out the spawns. So it's an easier tactic to just hug the bottom because you get better spawns that way. I'll see you at the and, standstill. And the left turret is fucking garbage. You have to stand still on the right one too to get the fire. So you just die to rockets. So you got your own rockets. Not Bond. He doesn't have any. Huh? Heard my name. I feel like no rockets. You have no rockets. I have no rockets. That is and true. No friends. And I must fire. Hey! Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> I came to see Bond get hit by by uh, lasers, and it hasn't happened yet. Oh, don't spam, worry. spam blues, and you'll never get hit by lasers. Oh my God, the dog we'll wave the takes so long. Would you say it was pretty rough? <laughs> who barked? Uh, I did. I mean, who, you even need to ask that question. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. I thought we knew each other better than that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I lost. I went to the top of the screen again. Lost control of my mouse. I don't do that. I'm trying not to. I need that. Felt like a pretty good control. Mm, you'd be surprised. Surprised in a good way? Like surprise party good? Uh, surprise butt sex good. <laughs> oh! Uh, Hello. Um, I mean, people are into that. It's not me. Mostly the French, right? <laughs> All right, um, okay. we can still make back all this time on Collider. Ah, sure, we can you, you edited it to six? <laughs> Space for Kenny. I guess we'll just talk less. Nah, <laughs> it's talk over him. Simulate like a really rowdy GDQ audience. <laughs> All of us will pretend we have donations to read. <laughs> Hello from Germany. <laughs> Donations from Kick Cancer's ass. Says Sam is a loser. Got him. It's doctors without <laughs> so borders. They're not, they're not fighting cancer. We have a $2,000 donation from Moonspot saying Woo, you suck. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't concentrate. <laughs> get serious, like man. Come on. It's only an easy level. Get good. That's not. Right. Well, if you giggle now, what's oh, gonna happen? Oh, fuck me. What's gonna happen next week, you know? 
I don't think the crowd will be that rowdy at 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'll donate a hundred dollars if you make that sound every time someone donates, Spawn. Every time <laughs> someone donates? Drunk people from last yes. night, so. Every time they read a donation, if you make that noise, I'll donate a hundred dollars. Man, you should not make <laughs> such assertions. You don't know how much I'm gonna do that. You didn't put this guy out of here. Because I'll do it. Regardless. Probably. You're gonna get old memes.biz shut down. <laughs> rustic memes, please. Rustic it's memes. Rustic sorry. memes wow. sir. We're classy <laughs> so, here. It's so sorry. old it changed names. <laughs> There's a lot of blue bullets. Sure is. I need them to stop. Oh my god, no fire! Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bad loss one. Yeah. <coughs> They've all been not great. All right, 45 seconds. Hey, no problem. We got it. We gained seven. <clears throat> no accelerate, no shutdown for that last wave. <laughs> Final yeah, destination. Oh wait. Wrong game. No items. <laughs> Fox only. So the run, so the run will be at two at two AM in the morning in this GDQ. Yeah, local time. I thought it was like at three. Well, two forty, close enough. Depends on how on schedule they are. We're right before Okam, or are we right before or right, right after Okami? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, we might get viewers from people who want to see that <laughs> instead. No man, we're gonna earn all our viewers on merit alone. Through rustic memes. <laughs> Cross promo. <laughs> Stop with the rustic memes. I don't approve. That's not yeah, at all what I wanted to happen. I have secret rustic memes in my basement. Oh god. I really want rustic memes to be a thing now. <laughs> Only illegal in Australia. I got knocked down. Pretty much everything and is illegal. Yeah, so Get it. <laughs> exactly. <that one. laughs> what a bitch, go away. Oh jeez, taking the very first battery. I was really no, close to going down. Did you got get it? it? Alright, good. Well. That's something. When a new thing is discovered, it's just illegal by default in Australia. That way they have to make fuel laws. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's really efficient, actually. Oh, come on, bitch. You guys allow vaping? <laughs> you guys have nah, Vape Nation good. down there? You can have vaping, but they put like a giant yellow sticker on it saying like, this is... This is, this this is bad for you? They make you yeah, wear a coat yeah. that says I kill babies on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to F wear this trench coat with a giant sign on the back. Fuck off, licorice. Wow. Rude. Nope, that's fine. Can you respect licorice, please? I will distract yeah, please. her. There we go, we did done do it. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't bad. Did you was only pop at the first battery? I think so. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that was basically nothing. It wasn't exactly 45 seconds, but... But your inflection gives me hope that it was positive. It was positive, yeah. Excellent. It was Did a gold split, in fact, somehow. This mirror has the security station gotten... Oh my bigger. god! <laughs> We're really it's busy. Upgraded. Station. Just letting everybody in off the street here. Even letting this Jenny guy in, I mean, come on. Oh god, street yeah. Rat, basically. Yeah, how do you even spell him? <laughs> He, as a security measure, he spells his name in a weird way. <laughs> I want to hack this guy, but I don't know what his username is. That's the oh, thing, shit. is like, I'm going to get nothing from... People are going to be like, uh, he said he was Kenny. Uh, he did... He, I don't remember how to spell it. Like, I'm probably going to actually say, like, C-N-E-Y Kenny when I introduce myself or something. I don't know. You should have each of the people there on the couch spell a letter, like, Y-M-C-A. <laughs> <laughs> C but we can only have four yeah, people playing. Yeah. That's perfect. You should have a really unambiguous name like CJ. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't get Come dunked on. by Vespi refight. Come on, man. I got the battery. It's okay. 
Hey, I'm doing all the dangerous work here. You're hiding behind a wasp. Uh oh. Oh, okay. geez, that I was weird. A... You just got me dunked. I somehow got, like, got... it paused for you a quarter just... second. You just got me dunked and somehow survived. No, I just yeah, saw that pause. You're not invincible there. <laughs> awkward pause. Yeah, it was an awkward pause. None of this matters anymore. It's fine. It's it's hundred percent world me. record. That's for getting me dunked on original <laughs> Vespi. That's that was payback. Long form revenge. Oh fuck. You get no money from rusticmemes.net. You <laughs> need relationship counseling. What what the fuck do I need Patreon. Dogecoin for? Come on, man. Dogecoin. This is all gone oh, really. That was awful. It's gone. This has gone really well. bad really fast. Oh no, no. Five now. Well, what, 52 seconds that you gain. It's going away now. Oh no! Oh no. jeez, man. <laughs> you made him spin faster! How? Well, you downed and then he spun towards me. Oh my god, they really That's did need marriage counseling. See, look, see? Here comes the <laughs> fucking laser. It's so trash. What is this garbage? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. I do not like that. Fuck off, that. laser! <laughs> we need to make sure this doesn't okay. happen. Okay. Oh, the actual Jesus. Yeah, like, Jesus. Like, it's okay. Mean, I am okay. The okay. I'm across the fucking level now. Fuck me. Oh. It's it's oh. okay. I intend to talk for the majority oh, of the fifth zone. This is a Jesus. Fuck. Oh, this is gonna be world record. I can feel it. <laughs> that laser is even showing time. Us. So apparently it is. Uh, That's how confident he is. That so is dumb. He doesn't even time it. <laughs> All right. How many people we got dying right now? I want to know how many deaths I'm responsible for. Uh oh. I want to see that knockdown count at the end of the level. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh. Wow, I just. Got blown up by that Cuban lid, that's weird. Thank you for showing that laser. No problem, it's coming right for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that didn't sound great. Oh, uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. What's the uh, damage 17, boss? 17 downs. Together we had 17 downs. That's an amount. Uh, we were only 54 seconds behind. That's not what too bad. Time? Uh, 52.29. Okay, that wasn't awful. No, it wasn't that terrible. Okay, Peanut's getting mouthy. Can we move this along? Hey. <laughs> oh, you can't skip. You, you can only pause. The I can only pause. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, you that's, tried. That's pretty spot on. <laughs> Really stop drinking. Wow. That sounds like somebody who needs to drink more. Way ahead of you. <laughs> All right, we ready to go again? Okay, I'll probably mess this up in some way, shape, or form, but we can try it. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, you ready? All right, I don't have to count down. Correct. So I'm just gonna go and go. Oh shit! Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Was he serious or not? No, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Welcome, welcome everybody to Assault <laughs> It's a top-down twin-stick shooter. Um, very action-oriented. You can also play it with keyboard and mouse, which you will see Toucan Sam doing. He is playing Starch, who you see on the left, and you can see this white reticle, which is where his mouse is pointing. Uh, this Javon, meanwhile, is playing as Aubergine, and he's playing with Gamepad. And uh, to explain the premise of the game a bit, these androids are making their way across this ship, which is known as the Genki Star, because it sent out a, a distress signal, which was received by the title character, Assault Android Cactus, because all of the robots on the ship have gone homicidal, as you can kind of see, they're kind of trying to kill us and stuff. Um, and they need to work their way across the ship, past the four section lords, to find out why their Nexus core has stopped communicating. So, just to review what, the, what you're seeing here, um, each android has a unique set of weapons, so you'll see that Starch has this laser, which, uh, unbeknownst to casual players, perhaps, 
is actually stronger the closer you are to enemies. So you'll see Sam trying to get right up in robots' faces, trying to do maximum damage to them. Um, Aubergine's primary weapon is Hello, which is this little robot that spins around and slices things. So it's basically a uh, fruit ninja in convenient robot form. That's they each good. have secondary weapons as well, which you're going to see intermittently. Uh, Starch has micro-missiles, which will home in on enemies at medium range. And Aubergine has a singularity, which is like a little gravity well that sucks enemies towards it and does damage to them as they're in it. Now we're already onto the second stage, and you're going to see that each stage is pretty short, and most of them are laid out like arenas, and each one sort of has its own little features to it. So, for instance, this one introduces holes in the floor, which you will find out you cannot walk into them. The game prevents you from doing that. It just restricts your movement, but you can still shoot over them. Uh, to explain some of the enemies we're seeing here, we've got these green kegs, which just crawl towards you and do melee attacks. Uh, we're also seeing... Uh, we've seen a bigger variant of them called Mega Kegs, which is the red ones we saw at the beginning of this level, which also shoot bullets in three directions. These flying things are drones, which will every so often shoot a bullet at you. And we've also seen bullet turrets, which uh, spawn at a stationary position, and they just shoot bullets in sort of a five-way pattern. Uh, so here we see more Mega Kegs and more bullet turrets at the, as we reach the end of the level, which is kind of a review of everything else that's, that the level is thrown at us. Uh, another thing we should mention is the battery mechanic. So at the top of the screen, you've seen a battery meter, which is kind of like a timer, but every so often enemies will drop a, an, an additional battery, which will refill it about halfway. Uh, the full battery lasts 60 seconds. Each battery you pick up will replenish at 30, unless it's really low, in which case it'll actually replenish slightly, slightly more. So it's, uh, it's sort of a built-in difficulty curve to the game. Oh. Yeah. Doing really, oh my god, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Do not attempt to adjust your television. <laughs> so uh, we've also got these titans that are dropping in every so often in, in the phases in this level, which this level you can see it introduces this mechanic of light and dark phases. Um, and it also has a couple of holes to navigate around. Uh, but these titans that have dropped in, they're bomber titans. They can shoot mines out of their arm cannons. Uh, and you want to try to steer clear of the mines, be a little careful of where they end up, because they have a significant blast radius when they explode. So, uh, we also want to talk about these little white pellets that are dropping that we see all over the place. This is weapon energy. Uh, weapon energy is very important. You want your weapons to be powered up as soon as possible. Um, if you look under the HUD for each character, you've got their life meter, and then you've got this white meter and these three little pellets on the side. The three pellets represent that you're at weapon level three, which is where you want to be. Um, the only way to lose weapon energy is if you get knocked down or if you don't pick up any more pellets for a significant period of time. So now we're into the fourth level, capacitor, and this one introduces walls, which then turn into holes. So sometimes you can shoot through them, and sometimes sometimes you can shoot over them, and sometimes you can't. Although, in the case of Aubergine, she's a little bit unique in that Hello can just kind of zoom around them. Um, incidentally, Hello is really hard to control with Gamepad, and Bond is making this look kind of natural, so credit uh, to Mr. Bond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, go on. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the hell I was <laughs> when I was talking about. Power-ups! We haven't talked about power-ups. Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, oh, by the way, mines, they're a thing. Um, they sometimes try to fall on your head. Um, power-ups, uh, this is a good segue into power-ups, because Accelerate, one of the power-ups, is good at kind of avoiding getting dunked on by mines. So we've got three types of power-ups. We just saw Accelerate get picked up by both players, actually. That was the yellow power-up. It makes you move faster. It makes you attract weapon energy and batteries from farther away. Um, and it helps you evade attacks sometimes. Uh, the red power-up is Firepower, which you can see active on Aubergine right now. It's these two drones that are next to her, which add additional uh, damage output. Now Starch has it as well. And the blue power-up is Shutdown, which makes all the enemies stop. It makes them take, I believe, one and a half times normal damage, so it kind of softens them up for you. And whoever picks it up gets their health recharged and becomes invincible for a few seconds. So it's uh, really good in tight spots as well. So now we're into the first boss named Embryo, also known as Doormat, uh, because it's going to be over practically before it starts. One thing you're going to notice about uh, how they approach this boss is uh, they tend to stay pretty close to the boss because its bullet patterns actually fan out. So a lot of players, when they start playing the game, are really intimidated by the boss and try to keep their distance, but that actually makes it harder to avoid his bullet patterns. 
because you actually have to move more to get around them. Uh, in this phase, he's actually going to launch... Oh, no, I missed the limit missile phase. Now I'm skipping phases. They were doing that the other night. Um, so in that phase, it's really important that one character stays close so that he continues to target one character. And as long as you're close and right in the middle of him in that fourth phase, he won't hit you. Um, this boss is six phases total. After each phase, you drop a battery. We didn't even see what he does in that phase. He could have a sandwich for all we know because shutdown just took care of the whole thing. That was pretty good. So now we're going to head into the second uh, set of levels, the second zone. And you'll see that the artistic style completely changed. Uh, we are now green, uh, for one. <laughs> and we've got these new enemies called wasps. Uh, you saw a few of them there. We're going to see a few more uh, as this level progresses. And when they're alone, they don't really pose much of a threat. But if they tend to come in swarms, and if they swarm you, or if you happen to already be at really low health, they can easily knock you down and finish you off. Um, I should point out that because of the battery mechanic, knockdowns aren't really uh, like any sort of like you don't you won't game over just from getting knocked down. You will game over only if you lose miss picking up batteries and actually run out of battery. But the game is again pretty forgiving in that it's okay if you miss one, and sometimes players will do that, especially during bosses, if they know that they're at a good pace. Uh, but you generally want to pick up the next one after that, otherwise you may be in a dangerous situation. So, uh, to explain some more of the enemies we're seeing, I didn't point out hunter kegs before, which are the uh, sort of yellow-colored keg. They also shoot bullets at you, less so than the mega kegs. Uh, but we're getting pretty much a review of all the enemies we've seen, and plus it added the wasps to this stage. So we've got the, uh, we had the kegs, the hunter kegs, the drones, the, remember the titans? We got the titans, and, uh, we've got wasps in this stage. And now we're nearing the last phase where we've just got a bunch of wasps and kegs. And, uh, we could easily fit a donation here between levels as we finish this up. Spot donated one thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam, you you sucks. Ben Bond, you're a good guy. Thank you, Moons. Dad. Shout out to Great Britain, the greatest. It's the greatest Britain, the greatest I Britain, know. Britain there is. <laughs> so this level is in flux, and we're gonna That's see it. a lot of interesting dynamic levels in this level. Uh, we're also gonna see mines, which I'm pretty sure someone just got dunked. Uh, unfortunately. No, they didn't. That's what happened. Shut up. <laughs> didn't see anything. <laughs> Denial. Kind of okay, so we need to introduce another enemy here, Fido. Um, so the missile phase, which I kind of missed mentioning in Embryo because they finished it so fast, uh, kind of makes a recurring appearance here with the Fido, because what they do is they want to play with you and they want to deliver sweet, sweet missile goodness uh, right on your head. You don't want them to do that, so you're going to see these targeting reticles come uh, up here on the floor. And as it kind of zooms in you, and brightens up, you'll realize that this means the missile is getting closer, and you should probably not be where that targeting reticle is. Um, also important to note is, um, while that explosion happens, you it's actually possible to walk into that explosion sort of right after it happens. So you want to make sure that you're steering clear of that until the red explosion actually goes away. Now, one thing we should point out here, as we remember the Titans and everything else that's getting thrown at us, is uh, you've, you've probably noticed by now that there have been blue bullets being fired at us, and there's red uh, explosions. Uh, there's actually meaning behind that, and we're going to see another instance of the red uh, damage in this level. But what the, 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 there is a significance to the colors. The blue bullets can only ever hit uh, cause damage to player characters, whereas the uh, red damage can damage both player characters and other enemies. Uh, so here we're actually introduced to the next version of the Titan. So remember the Bomber Titans, this is the Blaster Titan. Uh, and they're kind of easier to avoid. We haven't really seen them get a good attack off, so I could really explain what they do. But whereas the Bomber Titans fire mines out of their arm cannons, the Blaster Titans pound the ground and send a shockwave towards you. As long as you're circle strafing them, you can usually avoid them pretty easily. Um, their shockwaves can curve to a certain extent, but there's a limit to how quickly it can turn. Uh, meanwhile, here we're just getting, again, uh, a review of all the other types of enemies we faced. We've got Hunter Kegs, Mega Kegs, Fidos, don't forget the Fidos. Uh, need to 
keep moving and not stay in one place, otherwise you'll get caught snoozing and uh, you'll get dunked on by a Fido missile. So you want to avoid doing that, because, again, if you get knocked down, you're going to lose all your weapon energy and have to build your weapon level back up again. And but you I want get up again, strongest weapon. they're never going to keep me down. Oh, is that too old? <laughs> I think that's too old. <laughs> not for rusticmemes.net. I'm enough. pretty sure Remember the Titans is old. That, that... Is that 2002, 2003? I'll get dunked okay. on. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, not again. You better have control there, Sam. Um, I... Look, look, look okay. more like you had alt there, actually. Like, so uh, <laughs> Kenny, topical humor. I gotta, I gotta balance right. aiming and moving my mouse so, down. <laughs> so we know that no game is complete without conveyor belts, so this level called Process has conveyor belts. I almost said um, a very bad and... word about conveyor belts. <laughs> Almost. Oh man. Uh, well, I mean, geez, this isn't even the worst of them. There's no, it is to come. But, uh, Spoiler alert. But yeah, you basically just want to kind of keep an idea of where you're stepping and which way the conveyor belts are going if you're on top of them. Because if you're walking against them, it's basically the treadmill effect, and you're not going to be going anywhere fast. Which is bad because there's Fidos in this level too. <laughs> so you don't want to be in one place for too long when Fidos are out and about. So, uh, while we're remembering the Titans here, we got time for more missions. No? CJ? No, 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 no donations for Moons No donations time, huh? at all? That's dumb. We've got another $25 donation from Moons Pod, <laughs> which just says, the spindly doodle made me do it. That's inspired. You didn't, you didn't scream for that one. Well, it, was, it wasn't, it was only 25 bucks, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> Like, I, I figured I can't make him go flat broke in one sitting here. That's true. Man. Like, what would you do if I screamed and yelled for every one of those? Would we get kicked out, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, scream and yell or squawk? What are we talking uh, about? Let's go, woo! woo! Sam would kill a cancer on his own. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the wrong that we're that's the wrong event. That's we're, the wrong we're, one. Yeah. We're, we're we're treating diseases across borders now. That's we would help doing. so many Stock people. Without borders. All right, so this is the second boss, Vespula. This boss uh, is kind of well known in the community and gives a lot of people a lot of problems and a lot of pain. Um, you'll see that the wasps make a big comeback here, and when I mentioned before about you know wasps being able to swarm you. That is a distinct possibility in this fight. So yeah, that first phase right involved there. just kind of introducing you to how she's going to roll around in the ball and there's going to be wasps around her. The second phase, she comes out of the ball and actually attacks you with giant novelty flowers. That's actually what Cactus calls them. That is the canonical name for them. Um, third phase, the wasps are back in town and they're <laughs> not only just orbiting, but they kind of surge out and in, which is, I, I find that to be the most dangerous wasp phase, really. Um, now she has some new attacks. She shoots vines at you and uh, blue bullets in between. We've got a uh, the fifth phase is the final wasp phase. This one tends to be easier to deal with because you can kind of easily pin her against the wall. Although right now uh, they're doing something interesting. She's still not really moving, and that still works. Uh, and now we get basically the entire Mormon Tabernacle choir thrown at us with uh, giant novelty flowers, vines, wasps, what Entire choir. That was pretty that was good. Slightly better than last time. No dunks. And now we are into the third zone, and again, style has changed. Oh, and we've actually got the little bands on the walls this time. I don't know why those didn't appear last time. Uh, so this is a really cool looking set of uh, levels. No! Are you serious? Uh -oh. I love yeah, that for you. Yeah, we should talk you. about doors. Let's talk about doors, shall we? Doors I I will it. close <laughs> and despawn power-ups. They will not despawn batteries, however. So as long as there's enemies or player characters or a battery, a door will not close behind you. Um, this level is one of the only levels in the game that doesn't really feel like an arena, but it still kind of behaves like one. You still have to kill all the enemies. If you try to just like, okay, I'm out, and skip all the enemies, no. There's either going to be a door closed in your way after them, or if you're in this hallway that they're entering now, it's just going to stretch on. It can just stretch on forever, especially if you have Accelerate. It's kind of funny to see the rubber banding effect. It kind of feels like you get stuck in the Matrix. Uh, so here we have... Uh, in addition to lots and lots of mines, we have super mines, which make bigger booms than the regular mines. Uh, I believe this may actually be the only level that we see those in in the regular campaign. Uh, so we've got blaster titans, mines, super mines, and then we've got a set of bomber titans because 
Did we the Titans? Yeah, we've got lots, 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 and lots and lots of Titans to be remembered here. Um, so now we're heading into the last section of the stage, and that thing you saw in the middle, which you didn't really see get to actually attack, was a laser turret. It shoots red lasers in four directions. Now, remember what I said about damage colors, that red damage can actually hurt enemies also. So if you really wanted to, you could let the try to let the laser do some of the work for you, but it's probably not worth it with how much damage they can do at level 3 with two players, uh, and given the restricted movement you would have to deal with by having to, you know, not walk into the lasers. Uh, so we've got a few more titans to remember and a bunch of kegs, and then we will be through with this level, but we can squeeze in one more donation. Come on. Donation reader. Don't be shy. Donation reader. CJ donated like one cent, and he was like, you guys are shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even so cheering this for is... that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to boo for that one, I think. So this is transit. This level is interesting because you can see that it's got like a moving background, so it's as if you're on like a train car or something. Uh, and we're going to see at a few points in the level actually that things are going to rotate, and you won't necessarily see it when you're not if you're not playing. But when you're playing, it's very obvious that as the as the car turns, it actually affects your movement in a couple of areas. Uh, we got more mines, so uh, that that was not a pleasant experience for Starch over there. Uh, so, in addition to the moving train car, we've also got these lasers. For some reason, this tunnel has lasers in it. Um, and there is a, an audible audio cue for okay. it, so you can kind of hear when it's coming. And this is the perfect opportunity to talk about weapon swap dodging. Um, when you swap to your secondary weapon or back, you'll notice the character does a little jump animation, and they glow white for a split second during that. Now, glowing white, if you'll recall, also happens when you get up from being knocked down, and when you pick up a shutdown power-up. That glowing white means you're invincible. So you can actually tank hits, and it's actually useful to basically weapon swap dodge through the red laser in that part of this level. Rather than play the coward strat and hide behind boxes, which I do kind of often. Um, so we have had a couple of new enemies introduced in this level. These big green things are orbital factories, and they have little nodes that circle them, or orbit them, and that's where the name comes from. Uh, they can take quite a licking before they go down, and one thing you definitely do not want to do is walk directly under them, especially when they have nodes spawned, and they're usually continuously spawning nodes. So walking directly under them is almost a surefire way to get knocked down. Uh, another enemy we saw on this, which we will see again before the end of the level, is the Wasp Tank. It is like a piñata, except instead of delicious candy, it releases bees, well, wasps. Um, so insert, op insert Oprah will bees meme here. Uh, we're gonna see some more of those on the left right now. And this is close to the end of the level. Remember the Titans? We got them up. Um, and we've got even more wasp tanks. And Fido, so don't stand still, whatever you do. Standing still is really not a good idea in general, but especially not when Fidos are involved. Uh, but we're wrapping up this level and we can fit in another donation. Do I still seriously have to keep coming up with these? <laughs> yes. No. <You're> donation, <laughs> <again>. <laughs> No. <laughs> you're, never, you're never gonna get accepted as a donation reader if you're not good at it. You gotta practice, not, man. I'm not creative heat. enough to do this. I'll, I'll try next time. <laughs> this, this level is heat, and uh, as you can see, it's aptly named because we've got this jet spewing fire out of the side of the level over here. Uh, and it's rotating, and you're gonna see as the level progresses that it, it will change the direction it rotates, and you'll notice that there's another black hole on the other side of the center area. Guess what? That's another jet. That means that the fire can come out of either side, or both. So, yeah, this this level can kind of troll you if you're in the wrong place. Um, but there's, uh, other than that, we're basically just facing the same kinds of enemies. Oh, watch we'll out for watch the mine phase, though. But, uh, we'll just, uh, remember some titans shortly. Nope, I'm in the wrong phase for that. And then, uh, we'll do some more donations. Transparent Blue donated $100 and says you're all terrible. Moon donated two hundred dollars and said CJ is not creative. Wow, we got it. Donated fifty dollars. Greetings from Germany. Literally everyone <laughs> I know died from cancer. Woo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cancer. Woo! Jeez. About to say it's getting kind of dark. And honest. It's not even the right charity. Oh yeah. 
I wasn't sure Literally if that was supposed to be part of the meme though. or not. So, okay. It's just like, yeah. Even it's it like right. walking into Alcoholics Anonymous and saying, yeah, I just got a flat tire. Jeez. I don't know if you want a dr bunch of drunks helping you change your tire, though. Probably not gonna go well. You'll get it done eventually. You don't want doctors curing your cancer, either. Uh, that's the exact kind of people you want curing your cancer. Um, yes. <laughs> is it just me or is Bond really quiet? Am I really quiet? Sorry. He's, he's just little. really, he's just a really little. nervous, is all. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Okay, so this level is, uh, Revolution. Eva la Revolution. It sucks. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, remember conveyors? We have more of them. Um, so in this case, we have sort of concentric circles where the middle doesn't move, the ring right outside it does, and then the middle ring doesn't move, uh, well, meaning the third ring out from the middle doesn't move, and then the fourth one does, and then the fifth one doesn't. So, you've got two sets of platforms that do move, and you can think to yourself, well, okay, that's fine, I'll just not stand on those platforms. Problem solved, right? Well, maybe sort of, but the conveyors can also move enemies, and they can also move power-ups. And batteries, hi. Yeah, that just happened. Um, so, even if you're on solid ground that isn't moving, uh, you're probably still gonna have to move, deal with something that is. So, it can get kind of, uh, annoying to deal with. We're gonna see another new enemy in this stage uh, sometime soon, I believe. Oh, well, so we've got, uh, in contrast, we've got the orbital factories still going on over here. And we're gonna see another one that's uh, red-colored instead, called the Vector Factory, which instead of having nodes that orbit around it, they send it in a straight vector towards you. Like they're, generally, they're generally easier to deal. I'm not gonna try to explain the map behind it. Don't oh. even try. Uh, <laughs> that didn't go well. Uh, um, the vector factories are generally easier to deal with just because you kind of know where they're coming from, but obviously it's possible that you're distracted by, you know, about 50 other things going on on the stage that you just don't see one snapping you from the side, so it could still cause a problem. I mean, the name of this game is pretty much being situationally aware of what's going on and reacting accordingly. I mean, technically speaking, there's not necessarily RNG. The waves are always the same sets of enemies. And where they spawn tends to be influenced by where you're standing, or where you're moving to. Oh, oh, oh my god. Or where the window is also moving to. Um, we're in transit again, guys. Uh, Any way the wind blows. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, like, there, there are definitely places where you can tell that the game is deterministic. One of the places that's really easy to see that is the beginning of uh, Capacitor, the fourth level of the game. Depending on which way you move starting out, the... Uh, the mega keg that comes after you will spawn in the same place. Things get so right. Just, so justice just uh, rained from above, guys. And uh, this, is the, skip. this is the this is the half half skip. You guys will have to tell me how that works. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, I can explain it now if you want. Okay. So justice's opening attack is three laser attacks, but and oh, the first oh. the first laser is not skippable, but the second two are. By rotating around him such that he turns to face you, he forgets about the second two lasers and immediately moves oh, into yes. the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't re see that's interesting because I never did that intentionally. I always kind of wanted the three beams because at least in single player that makes him a very easy target. <laughs> um but yeah, I can see where I guess it kind of stalls in here. And oh, I didn't get that at all. This phase is already basically over by the time it happens. Yeah, so, it just uh, lets you get the power ups out. Okay. That's true. That's a good point. Um, so yeah, we already got through all three phases. It was over before it started. Like there was so, power up down there. That's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> but that was. But interestingly, this boss only has three phases, which in <laughs> itself actually leads to the perceived difficulty of the fight because bosses only drop batteries between phases. And because Justice has half as many phases as the previous bosses, uh, that kind of changes things up a little bit. In fact, I think the developers actually had to tune the fight during early access because too many people were hitting a brick wall in the first phase. So actually, I think the first phases waited a little bit less. Yeah, they lumped all the difficulty in the last phase. <laughs> well, he has a multiple heads, so it's almost like phases within phases. We must go deeper. Yo, dog. Oh. <laughs> We have like two memes right there because we have exception and exhibit. Rustic right. memes, stuff is. Rustic memes inside wow. memes. All right, so this is assembly, and now we're into the fourth zone, and you'll see a lot of a lot more dynamic level design, like kind of like we saw in Influx, 
back in the second zone. Uh, and in this level, the thing is, we've got these platforms that uh, constantly drop in and drop out. Uh, as long as you're standing on one of them, it will not drop because you can't fall in this game. Uh, so they're kind of sticking around the middle platform here, which is a nice, beautiful, flat platform with no holes and no pillars on it. And it's a full platform, so they're going to stick with that as much as they can to try to keep it there. Um, but there's, you can see around them, there's multiple varieties of platforms, half platforms. That one on the top right is a huge jerk. We've got three holes and three pillars in it, thanks a lot. So yeah, you don't want to be stuck on that one, that's annoying. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I, I, I don't think we can use that meme anymore. We can, but only sincerely. <laughs> only sincerely. Yeah. I don't know. I think political memes are probably best avoided. Even if there's practically nothing political anymore about that meme, I guess. But... That's true. <laughs> but, you know, Since Obama got everything, but literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we could easily fit another donation or two here. Shotgun not. That was a bad donation. I don't even know who it was from. Lovebot donated ten dollars. Said, "I think you guys said something about not vape." Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Man. Gonna move my mouse down to the bottom of the screen again. <laughs> Good work. Were Good you not work. playing in Windows last time? I was kind of wondering about that. Holly donated ten dollars, saying, "Where's my fucking buff, Tim?" No surprises there. <laughs> what? What? Where's my buff? Oh. <laughs> Holly doesn't even lift. She needs a buff, really. I mean, I'm not saying she needs a nerf or anything, but like, I haven't okay. been following all the discussions, so I don't know. Probably too strong. She is, she is a bit weak. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she's no, really easy on Vescula, she's... right? <laughs> One of the worst. It's, on like, she's, it's like she's shooting out miniature frog. Flap up the wasps. Anyway, this is Relay, and it's kind of like Checkpoint in that it's one of the few levels that uh, doesn't feel like an arena, but still kind of is an arena. You'll see that these platforms uh, disappear behind you, drop out from behind you as you progress through the enemy waves, and they won't form up in front of you until you actually kill enemies either. So you can't, again, you cannot skip enemies. The name of the game here is always just killing things as fast as possible. So now we're taking this elevator to the upper level of the stage, uh, which will proceed north towards the end, but we can, uh... Oh, actually, I've got a couple more enemies to introduce here, don't I? Or at the very least, we have one, which is the Turbo Drone. Uh, we kind of didn't see too much of them there because they're killing them so fast, but that thing in the top, uh, on the left side there that Starch just killed was a Red Drone. Those fly a little bit faster. They shoot three bullets at once instead of one, and they strafe pretty well. They're circle strafing, uh, jerks, and that makes them a little hard to deal with if you're, say, Starch without firepower. Uh, you basically have to kind of waggle your weapon around a little bit to kind of coerce them into running into it. Other than that, we're seeing stuff that we've seen before, so we can do some more donations. I should probably not use that phrase, because it makes it sound boring. Donations? Donations? Nobody's donating? At all? <laughs> Nobody's donating That's ridiculous. Sorry. It's the worst oh SGCQ. Yeah. Ran out of money already. Wow. All of the money has been donated by Tuesday no morning. More money left Monday in morning. The world. All the money belongs to doctors who have orders now. Graph donated $25 saying PJD board, PJD big kazam, PJD board. I don't know what that means. I do not know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's emotes on PJ's stream. We're both subscribers to it, so. Ah. I know PJ has food poisoning right now. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. It sounded like it from what he said he woke up and had to throw up. And I was like, that sounds like food poisoning maybe. And yeah, he's pretty much confirmed that's what he's got a case of right now. So this is anorexia. Uh, waking up. He could be anorexic. <laughs> no, that's not how, an no, that's bulimia that you're <laughs> that thinking of, first of all. And no. <laughs> that's feel when you don't accidentally you... contract anorexia. <laughs> don't you, uh... Don't you One get anorexic because of bulimia? What? No. Oh. Aren't they both like no. medical What's conditions? What's anorexia? What's anorexia is like you just don't eat because you oh. think you're fat. I thought that was connected to bulimia. Uh, I mean they're both, you know, eating disorders, but bulimia is you eat a ton and then you regret it and then you make yourself, like, spit it back out, basically. 
I um, hope we have this exact discussion. At anyway, this is focus, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna focus right yeah. now on Let's fo focus, focus the conversation. And uh, we've got a couple new enemies here. So we got the uh, Reaper Specters, which are these uh, sort of wraith-looking things that fire lasers at you. They operate a little bit similarly to how Justice uh, aims lasers at you, which you can see it charging, and he kind of tracks you, but then uh, a split second before they fire, they will stop tracking you. Also, there is a blue flame in the middle, which means it will only damage you and not enemies. But given how the floor falls out, you basically don't want to be close to the middle because you're not entirely necessarily sure where that blue flame is going to actually be pointed at when you drop, so best to avoid it entirely. And there's going to be one more drop before the end of the level. Uh, and again, there will be a blue flame in the middle. It's a little less of a threat now since you're already avoiding it the previous level. And now we've got more uh, Reaper Specters and Kegs and Fetch Fidos. I neglected to mention them in assembly. Fetch Fidos uh, are basically like in Soviet Russia, a dog walks you. Uh, they will put a leash on you. If, the, if they line you up and get close enough to you, they will put a leash on you and restrict your movement. So you obviously don't want that to happen. You can generally tell when they're lining up if you're actually looking out for it. So when you see that starting to happen, uh, basically just focus your fire on the fetch Fido so that it doesn't get to do that and so that you can still move where you want. So now and we're going the, into... Uh, hmm? Add the Soviet Union meme to, uh, to the list. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's I should actually do that. Rustic memes. Yeah. All the Soviet watchers are tuning out right now. Just lost GDQ's massive Russian playbase. We're getting hacked right now. Some, somewhere, speak. somewhere, Donald Trump just lost his 2K right now. Ooh. Anyway, um, this is Repeater, and this is possibly the most, the most dynamic level. And uh, anyone who's a fan of Bastion might think this kind of feels familiar because it's kind of a similar uh, aspect to how the floor forms up around you. Um, it is important to note that uh, just like in other levels where like batteries will prevent parts of the level from despawning. Uh, that's also true here. So if you get a battery mm. that's kind of far away from you, there will always be enough ground to form a solid path back to it, but there's also only a finite number of squares that will form up under you, so you can actually end up running out of ground if you have like a battery that's far away, or a power-up too, I guess that also works, or at least it did in that case. Um, and it can also, if you have Accelerate, this is more of a risk in single player, perhaps, but uh, Accelerate is really easy to kind of keep running with Reckless Abandon, and then all of a sudden, it's kind of like one of those cartoons where they have a rope tied around them, and then they are running full speed, and then the rope hits its end, and yank, they uh, come right back, so you just kind of run out of ground. Uh, we've got another new enemy, or two, in this stage. We've got Mines, Mine Mines. Tanks. <laughs> Mine Mine Tanks, we'll look out. which are, yep. Yeah, so Which are like one boss left too. Be worse. Yeah, there's. I'm popping it. Right. So we've got mine tanks and we've got tendril factories. They're the final fu type of factory you're going to see. And uh, they they act a little differently than the others. Uh, they just shoot these blue bullets out slowly in a circle pattern around them. Uh, however, like the other factories, those bullets will disappear when you kill them. So like. With the orbital and vector factories, as soon as you kill the factory itself, all the nodes disappear. That's also true with the bullets that the tendril factories spawn, as you can see right there. So, uh, as they're doing cleanup on this level, time for another... Oh, I got donked. Ah, shit. So did I. Oh, man, and the Reaper got bombed, tried, too. Tried to, tried to save you, Double but I kill. couldn't. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. I mean, eat Reaper stuff. donated ten dollars and said, "Get Rex." <laughs> Reaper donated another ten dollars and said, "I need to know where the bathroom is." I can't do that. Anyway, Jeez. this is Venom, and that's, that's uh, this is the fourth new. boss. And anybody who's played shmups like Ikaruga might. <laughs> Uh, I think this was another case where they actually reduced the intensity of the bullet patterns or made them slightly more, like, Shit. deterministic and predictable in early access because people were completely getting the floor mopped with them. Uh, but yeah, this boss goes through several phases, eight in total, I believe. And, uh, the first one was where it rotates, it has a turret rotating around the outside. The second had these four turrets. The third has the spindly doodle, shoutouts to Moonspot. Uh, we're gonna have sort of a reprise of each of these phases coming up, so... Again, we have turrets on the outside. Now there's two of them, however. 
they're gonna focus down one of them so they have fewer bullets to deal with and when you defeat one of the tur two turrets all the bullets disappear so it's kind of a reset but then the, the remaining turret fires faster uh, now we've got this is one of the harder phases because there's just so much going on on screen at once that it's easy to lose track of either where you're shooting or where you're going or hey I just walked into a bunch of bullets I I didn't actually intend that to happen at the same time that Mr. Bond did it. Commentator's like curse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's not usually how... Oh, hi. And th this is the greater spinly close. doodle, as I like to call it. Um, so, yes, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a surprise if you're not expecting it. Now, these dark blue bullets, we didn't get to see them in the first spinly doodle phase, but in this one we're seeing those. Those will pretty much instantly uh, knock you down. Useless. And this is the uh, canonically named butt phase, where his butt tries to shoot cobwebs at you, and uh, they will slow you down if they hit you. Meanwhile, there's these little bugs uh, that are crawling up the sides that will explode on contact. Uh, they are red damage, so they can actually hurt him too, but they're not going to do really that much damage to be appreciable versus just focusing fire on him. And that last phase is where he just kind of makes a mad rush for you and tries to barf on you, which is rude, so we got rid of him and taught him a lesson. So this is Centrifuge, the first level of the final zone of the game. So we're, oh, we're getting there. Oof. Everybody. <laughs> everybody in the world. Jeez. Party over there. <laughs> so what this level does is the walls spin around and then they bit out enemies at you. And this is just the recurring theme of the level uh, over and over again, pretty much with different uh, sets of enemies. We're going to have a lot of what we've uh, seen in terms of we're going to have some mine tanks in here, like right there. Uh, we're going to have, you know, we had the regular mines earlier in the phase. We've got the, uh, I believe, both types of titans. Yep, here we've got, remember the titans? We've got the uh, blaster titans and bomber titans right there. We also have the introduction of the Jumbo Fido, which is a giant red toaster dog. It behaves largely like the regular Fido, the regular white yeah. Fidos, except that it... Uh, fires a large salvo of micro missiles instead, and those missiles keep falling for uh, a few seconds. Oh my goodness. So that's another case of keep moving. Oh jeez, that was rude. What just happened to Mr. Bomb there? I deserved it. Uh, I disagree, but okay. He's done some terrible things today. <laughs> Comma. One thing I should one one thing I like to point out uh, during this level is uh, this game has a few uh, what they call EX modes, which are bonus modes that you can unlock with credits that you earn in the game from playing it. Uh, PS, which being please add more things to spend credits on because we have lots of them. Um, but one of the EX modes is called Virtual Player Count or VPC, which allows you to play with the same amount of, normally when you're playing with multiple players, the more players you have, the more enemies that spawn or the strong, and the stronger they become, especially in the case of bosses. With VPC, you can have one player but playing against the enemies as they would normally be stacked for multiple players. So several people in the community have made a habit of going into Centrifuge and playing it with VPC 4. And it's kind of hilarious because you just hear them calling out power-ups like every second. Anyway, we're moving on into control now, and this is a really interesting thing because, as the name suggests, we've got a few turrets in this stage where you can uh, step on the ground to near them to activate them. So right here we've got this machine gun turret, which you step on the ground near it once and it activates, and, and it keeps going until it exhausts its ammo, but it helps you take out enemies. Um, there are two other turrets. The one at the top right fires missiles, but you have to actually stay uh, standing on it for it to fire. Uh, which is both good and bad, because it means you can control how it exhausts its ammunition, but it means you have to be kind of staying in one place, which is kind of dangerous in this game, as you may have noticed. There's also one in the top left, which they generally aren't going to use that much, which is a plasma field. It acts like uh, one of the other androids, Coral, has a plasma field secondary, and it acts like that except larger, where it's basically this electronic orb that uh, zaps things that get close to it and kind of keeps them at a, at a distance around it. But again, it requires standing in one place, and it requires keeping enemies kind of close to you, and it's kind of dangerous. Uh, speaking of kind of dangerous, remember the Titans? We've got a third type of Titan. It's the last one we're going to see. This is the Buster Titan, and it will bust you up if you let it get close. Um, it likes to, if it has a straight line of sight to you and it's far away, it will try to lunge at you, which that in itself will not damage you, 
uh, but then it will try to ground pound right on top of you. And incidentally, whereas the other titans do red damage, the ground pound actually does blue damage, so it can't hurt other enemies. But it can hurt you a lot. It will instantly knock you down. So you want to try to avoid that or weapon swap through it to try to dodge it. You can push stuff too. It's nasty. Oh yeah. It's, well, can the other titans do that too? Uh, no, yes. Only really? No, huh. Synchronize. Ouch. I well, mean, I, I guess they do kind of lumber around with more purpose than the other titans do. And they also like th just the jump means they can just like push a mine tank right up right up into your face. Oh, that's right. One of you had a highlight or something like that. I think uh, yeah, I think Kenny had one of, of mine a super mine going into his face. <laughs> Good shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm gonna write myself a couple extra notes to try to like remember things. Uh, crap! I was writing a note, and now I forgot mouse, where it mouse, put it. Mouse. Did we talk about red dog eyes? Those appeared last level, but still. Jumbo fighters, yes. yeah. Okay. I managed. I managed to sneak that in in centrifuge. So this is convection, which uh, is one of the longest levels in the game. Actually, the long. Uh, in most cases. So, the reason it's called convection is, as you can see, we've got these sort of stovetop type jets on the uh, stage, and they do red damage, which means they can also hurt enemies. Uh, one common misconception, or at least I was, I always like wanted to think this until I realized it wasn't the case was if you're standing on one of those and it activates it's not going to instantly kill you it's actually sort of a slow bank but you don't want to stay on them because obviously with everything else that's going on it could easily finish you off if you just happen to like step on the wrong tile that's lit when you're uh when you're fighting enemies shit's lit you yo. don't want you don't you don't want to be lit in this game fam oh my god I preferred the old means <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little too fresh for rustic memes not being That's true. <laughs> so we also uh, are introduced to one more enemy in this stage. Uh, so we saw the Reaper Spectres in the previous zone. Uh, this stage introduces the Banshee Spectre, which is a blue spectre which shoots blue bullets in a widening arc around that it. Let go of me! Oh my god, it's oh, in the wow. middle of everything! That was dumb. Oh jeez. Yep, yep. The Fetch Fighters are rearing their ugly... Um, coasters they don't really have heads do they um but yeah so we kind of the the ideal scenario with uh oh actually we're seeing the bullets those bullets are coming from one um banshee specters so you can see what happens if you let them fire you generally don't want to let them fire you can you they have a very telltale sound both both types of specters have a telltale sound when they warp in and you basically want to kind of figure out where they are and destroy them as quickly as possible so that, especially with uh, Banshee Spectres, you don't want them to get to litter the stage with bullets. Because especially when multiple of them spawn in at once, that can get really hectic. Reaper Spectres are a little easier to deal with because you know it's just going to be a laser in one, you know, singular direction. And once it's done, it's done. <clears throat> However, we're going to see that you can have a lot of Reaper Spectres, and that can be bad, too, in the next stage. So we're going to have time for a couple of donations here, because I said this is one of the longer stages in the game. Why are you doing this? Oh, please. I actually haven't left as much airtime for donations as I did when I practiced yesterday, so I have to prep. Today is decidedly less good compared to my offline practice yesterday. We're also dealing with some hecklers in the crowd, so... Yeah, not so really. They, they've hecklers. been fine. <laughs> really I'm fun. not gonna blame them for that, come on. <laughs> this would be perfect without CJ. I'm the problem. <laughs> okay, so this is Collider. Uh, this is the gatekeeper of the run, which we will see why in a bit. So this introduces Assault Android Licorice, but she's going to go off and have a sandwich and let her ha little, you know, robot cronies deal with you for a while. Um, so it, we haven't been, we've been skipping all of the boss dialogue and plot. This game does have plot, and I, also I like to point out that depending on what character you play as, the boss dialogue is actually unique per character. So that actually gives it a bit of replayability, even story-wise, because it's fun to see the different interactions. Um, but anyway, at the end of the... When you when you fight Venom, after you defeat him, Licorice steps in to prevent Venom from spilling the beans uh, and revealing the secret bean recipe. Uh, that's, like, from the 90s or something. I don't know. When yeah. did Bush's big beans start? Anyway, yeah. uh, she stops him from... Probably not. Getting older and older. 
from, she stops him from spilling the beans, but you see her silhouette, and there's this hint that you're going to find out eventually what the heck's going on. So, uh, Licorice is uh, another android, and she behaves just like an android. You can see that the score at the bottom of the screen was actually replaced with another battery. She can pick up batteries, she can pick up uh, weapon energy and power up her weapon, she can pick up power-ups, you ideally don't want her to do any of these things, you want her to kiss the pavement and have a romantic relationship with it and just stay like that. Um, but obviously, when she gets up, she also gets invincibility for a couple seconds. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. you have to kind of deal with her for at least a few seconds. But, uh, I think what they're probably trying to do here is, at least one of them is going to focus on keeping her down whenever possible, and then one of them is going to want to focus on killing enemies and being near the enemies that get killed so that they can get the battery. Fuck. Because this level can drag on, depending on if Licorice gets batteries. So... That dictates, again, I mentioned that the previous level is uh, it, normally it, the right. Stop killing. Normally the longest level in the game, and in this case that will be true because I think they had a no is battery that a licorice. licorice. That was a pretty I think good they had licorice. a no battery licorice. Yes. This is going to be golden. Uh, we've gotten a lot of those, but. We were going to do that at lot. Oh, it's gold, baby. The event. No problems. All right. 100%. <laughs> <Get by. laughs> the difference is we only get too. one chance at that at the event. That's true. <laughs> uh, so this is Medulla. This is the next core that has stopped communicating with everybody. And uh, yeah, so Lick kind of showed Medulla some things, and Medulla's kind of going off the deep end. And uh, yeah, we gotta gotta deal with that and put Medulla in her place now. So uh, I hope you learned weapon swapping because that really helps with the first phase of the boss, where it shoots bullets out from its center. Um, now we're actually doing a refight of the last phase of the Embryo boss fight. So they kind of work in a little bit of Mega Man here in terms of boss refights. Uh, we've got another phase which uh, shoots, spews bullets out from the center here again. And there's basically two ways to deal with it. You can either play it safe and stay, no stay towards the back and then maneuver through them, or you can just weapon swap dodge through them. Uh, which is easier to do towards the center because then all of them will pass you. Now naturally we have a Vescular refight. You may be wondering, okay, how many boss refights are we going to have? We will we will not have a venom refight. Yeah. He would not he would not fit in this room. <laughs> venom is on the outside of the ship, so we would have a problem. Mm. <laughs> so now this phase brings back the dark blue bullets, which we saw a couple times, mm. like in Venom's fight. Uh, wow, that was some pretty good weapon dodging on uh, Mr. Bond's part over there. So dangerous. So yep. dangerous. Oh man, more dangerous. Ooh, nice. And you also got to watch out for those rings of blue bullets that spawn too. If you're not, if you're being too much attention to everything else, one of those could easily spawn and kill you too, right on the spot. So here's the Justice Phase Three refight, which again ah, involves laser fences and him throwing it. his heads at you. His heads, which becomes basically super mines on the ground. Uh, but they're gonna maybe. Can you explain what Bond was nope. trying to do. I didn't see what Bond was trying to do. I tried to jump in for the blue. Oh jeez. Freaking oh yeah, I'll keep that in dear. Mind. Okay, that's right, I'm gonna keep my cool this time. <laughs> Fucking laser! <laughs> if that I'm thing goes for me, it's going towards me. Donates fifty dollars. I would normally be commentating here, but I need to write. If that thing shoots towards me, I'm getting me, it sure is. We're doing a meme sale. We got shoot to work. So we got, this is you're the man so now, dog. In this phase, uh. Yeah, this phase is over. Okay. I, I was typing, so I didn't get to say anything. <laughs> but in that phase, Medulla gets to throw everything she has at us, but it's not over. Now we're going into the Aether Sphere. This is where Medulla kind of lost her head. And, uh, no, Aether Sphere... No, weird spot. Aether, Aether Sphere is basically a test of ability, because there's no power-ups. Uh, you instantly ha you almost instantly get weapon level 3. Even if you fall down in this section, uh, you will build right back up to weapon level 3 within like a second of standing back up. Um, however, there are also no battery pickups, so you have to finish this in 60 seconds. Um, one thing I will point out is the developers actually have made the enemies a little bit weaker in this lately, uh, recently to try to encourage more people to come back and actually succeed at completing the final boss. Because this final boss definitely is a significant difficulty spike, and all the bosses kind of are, and that's time, and I should have mentioned time is coming up. That felt pretty yeah. good, actually. I, I called time really correct good. in the previous that's time. A, that's that's sub-51. That's yep. sub-51, yep. 
That's what I like to see here. Do we have to mention Madonnev? I don't think it's that important. Yeah, I guess I could go without, and I should go without saying that because I should discuss when time comes up anyway. 